Hey kids, welcome back to Letters to Santa. I'm Mrs. Claus. In just a little bit, we're going to be joined by Saint Nick, better known as Santa Claus. We'll also get to learn how to make a special hot chocolate recipe up and catch up with me and Jimmy Kringle. So stay tuned. I'm so happy all of you guys decided to join us today. I can't wait to hear about all the fun and exciting things you've added to your Christmas list this year. I see you've already met my two assistant elves here, Cinnamon and Sugar. Did you get your letters ready for Santa? Yep. Yeah? yeah. yeah? Yep. Speaking of which, have any of you kids seen Santa? I think yeah. Last year, but have you seen him here? No. No. You know what? I bet he fell asleep in his workshop again. Can you kids help me wake him up? Yeah. Okay. At the count of three, we're all going to say, wake up Santa. You ready to help me? Yeah. Okay. One, two, two three. Wake, wake up, up Santa! Santa! I'm sorry it took me a while. I've been so busy. The kids are so excited to meet you and read your letters. I can't wait to hear from all these girls and boys. Let's get started right away. Okay. I have a stack of letters right here. And the one on the top is from Naomi. Can Naomi please come up? Do you want to read your letter? Yeah. Or should we read it together? Okay, it says, Dear, Dear Santa. Santa, I was a good girl at school. I will like a bike that is pink. Pink? Oh, a pink bike. Oh, that looks like a, something we can work on with the elves, okay? Okay. Yeah. And are you going to be a good girl, like it says in here? Yes. Yes. Well, thank you, Naomi. I'll work on that bike for you. Okay. Now you want to, hey, we can head back. Take that to the North Pole with me. Okay. Thank you. Well, I heard she wanted a pink bike. A pink bike? Wow. wow. Well, let's look at the next letter that I have here. Jalea. Oh, what fun. That's, oh my goodness. Oh. This says, Dear Santa, I've been a good girl this year, and I bet you have. Honest, please remember me this Christmas with a 
karaoke machine. Are you a good singer? Yeah. Yeah. And you're going to be a rock star? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Love, Jalea. Oh, that's a pretty name. I like that. Okay. So we'll put this with this, and I'll take that to the North Pole for the elves to work on. Okay? Okay. Okay. And we have another one. And this letter is from Jordan. Who's Jordan? Hi, Jordan. Hi. And this is your letter. Okay. And it says. Dear Santa, I really missed you. Well, thank you. I missed you too. Thank you for the toys. Next time, could you remember to bring me the sparkly shoes and the biggest Barbie doll you can find? Bigger than you? Yeah. Uh, she says you want a uh, bouncy girl. Yeah. Oh, okay. Remember also the needy families. I sure will. That is a wonderful thought. Thank you. Love always, Jordan. Right there we go. Right in my pile. Okay, thank you. You know, one of my favorite things to do on Christmas after making a silly snowman is to make a hot cup of cocoa and sit by the fireplace. Here's one of our very favorite recipes. You're going to be able to see it. No. What are you doing to that onion right Today we will be showing you how to make your very own Oreo hot cocoa. The first thing you will need is two tablespoons of cocoa powder, then one quarter cup of water, then one and one half cups of milk, and after that you will need some crushed Oreos. As a little added touch, we'll be adding some whipped cream to this. To do this recipe, you are going to need a stove and a pot. Add your one and one half cups of milk to the pot. After that, you will be adding your one quarter cup of water. Once those have been added, you will be adding your two tablespoons of cocoa powder. Be sure to stir it properly. Once all of your ingredients are thoroughly mixed together, place your pot on the stovetop and make sure to turn the stovetop on. Once it has come to a nice warm simmer, you can add your Oreos. Leave the Oreos in with your mixture just for about a minute or so to give them enough time to break down and heat up as well. After that, you are ready to serve it into your mug. We chose whipped cream that we were going to add as one of our toppings, along with a few extra Oreos that we didn't add to the mixture. The next recipe you will be making is hot cocoa rice krispies. The first ingredient you are going to need is Rice Krispie cereal. The second ingredient is one whole bag of marshmallows. And the third one, cocoa powder. The very last ingredient is going to be butter. You'll only need four tablespoons of butter. This is another recipe that will be using a pot and the stovetop. Make sure that your pot is on the stovetop and that it is turned on. The first thing you will do is add your four tablespoons of butter. Once 
Once the butter has become completely melted, you'll then be adding your entire bag of marshmallows. Be sure to consistently stir. The marshmallows can become very sticky and once heated will stick even further to the sides of the pot. Once your marshmallows and butter mixture have become a nice smooth consistency, you will be able to add your cocoa powder. You do not need to add all of it as adding extra can make it a little extra cocoa-y. Only add as much as you feel is necessary. Once everything is properly combined, you can then add the marshmallow mixture to your Rice Krispie cereal. This is the part where you may or may not need to remove some Rice Krispie cereal, as too much can leave the marshmallow mixture too thin. Now that you have your hot cocoa and Rice Krispies, be sure to share it with everyone that you love in the spirit of Christmas. Oh boy, Mrs. Claus always makes the best hot cocoa for me after traveling all across the world. Yeah, that's a long trip for you and the reindeer. Well, I think we have a few more letters to read, so let's see who's next. Who's going to be next? Justin. Is Justin here? How did you know? Come on out. Come on, buddy. Ah, oh my, oh, you're a big fella. Thank you. Your letter says, Dear Santa, I've been a great boy this year. Honest. Please remember me this Christmas with Batman toys and a Paw Patrol fire truck. Love what you've done with the North Pole. Well, you know, Mrs. Claus does all the decorating. And then it says, Love, Justin. Thank you. This is a wonderful letter. We're going to put it here, and I'm going to take it back to the North Pole for the elves. Okay? Okay. Thank you, Justin. Yeah, we're getting a lot of work for you elves. And here's a letter, Eileen. your letter? Okay. Dear Santa, I've been waiting so long for Christmas. December actually. Please give to Grandma with help. I love playing in the snow. I want the sled for Christmas. I want the gym doll set for me and my sister. I would like a bag for ballet because I want to be a ballerina. I would like a color for later and I want a white Christmas for the sled. Thank you very, very much. Well, thank you, Alina. Those are such wonderful thoughts, especially the good health for Grandma. And then you have here wishes for, is that your brother and sister? Oh, and you gonna be a, I bet you are gonna be a beautiful ballerina. Oh, this is a very, very wonderful letter. Thank you. Oh my, is this a special letter. It even has pictures in it. Luis. Luis. Come on up. Hi. Oh, whoa. Oh, 
this is so neat. Wow, and you're four years old? Oh, hi, Santa. Thank you for being good to me. For Christmas, I would like a Power Wheels car so I can drive around. I also would like a big chocolate Santa. Oh my goodness, and you even put the pictures, see the pictures on here for me. Oh, look at that, the power and the Santa. Oh, that way I won't have to worry about which one to pick, right? Right, thank you. We're going to take that. In the midst of preparing for the big day, I was able to find some time to catch up with everyone's favorite talk show host, Mr. Jimmy Kringle. Let's watch. Welcome back to the Christmas Eve show with me, your host, Jimmy Kringle. You know our next guest from all your favorite holiday stories and songs growing up. Here to talk about plans for this Christmas is the one and only woman behind St. Nick herself. Everyone, please welcome Mrs. Claus. Hi, Jimmy. How are you? It's so good to be here. So great to have you. You look as yeah. jolly as ever. Oh, we are so happy and jolly up at the North Pole. We can't wait. It's getting close. Are you guys ready? Yes, well, there are a few finishing touches, but Santa's almost ready. Gotcha. So, big question everybody wants me to ask once they find out that you're on my show. Ready? Yes. How does Santa get down all of those chimneys? Well, you're kind of referring to the fact that he's eaten a few more cookies. Hey, I'm in not his judging. Life. I'm yeah, not judging. Yeah. Well, he's really good at sucking in that that stomach, holding his breath, squeezing his arms together, wiggling and squirming down the chimneys. He's real good at doing that. Gotcha. So what happens if a house doesn't have a chimney? D do they still get a visit from Santa? Oh, of course they get a visit from Santa. You want to know his secret? Of course. This is a big secret, it's guys. A big, a big, big secret, secret right here. Santa m might not like me telling this, but he went online. We even have internet up at the North Pole, and he took an online course in locksmithing. So he can get in everybody's house, even the ones without a chimney. You heard it here, folks. Big exclusive. <laughs> That's how Santa will get in your house, so don't worry. So, this time of year is well known for cookies. Do you have a favorite cookie recipe? I have a favorite cookie recipe because it's Santa's favorite cookie. He loves sugar cookies, the kind that you have to take a rolling pin and roll out, and then you take all those different shapes and make different shapes, and you can put sprinkles on them, and you, you can hungry. frosting <laughs> on them, and they're great with a glass of milk. So you talk about shapes. Does Santa like any different type of shapes? Oh, he loves all shapes. He likes stars. He likes bells. He likes Christmas trees. He loves reindeer. I even have some that look like Santa. Wow. So you talk about reindeer. I know you've got eight of them. Do you guys have a favorite? Santa loves all of his reindeer equally. He's really good about that. I like Blitzen. Why I like all of them too, but especially Blitzen. Why Blitzen? I think his name is so great. Blitzen comes from lightning, and Blitzen is like lightning fast. Of course, Dasher wouldn't like me saying that. <laughs> so, <laughs> is Rudolph currently on the team, or is he is he more of a big celebrity, and he's only there when he needs to be? He's a big celebrity. He's a standby. If it's a real clear night, they don't need Rudolph. But if it's a, a foggy, rainy night, then they need Rudolph. So, he's still... You know, well, part and part of the of the team there. Gotcha. That's a lot of reindeer to keep after. It sure um, is. <laughs> you guys really do have a lot to go to do. So I know you've got a lot of preparation to do for the big day. Um, so we're going to let you go and get okay. to all that preparation. But thank you so much for joining us. Uh, until next time, uh, this has been Jimmy Kringle. And remember, Santa Claus is coming to town. So be good for goodness sake.
Well, that was fun. You did? We have just a few more You're letters good. here. Who's next on the list? Well, next on the list, we have, and this is no pictures. Okay. You're going to have to remember it. Muro. Annunciato Muro. That's you. That's the boy who made sugar cookies. Yeah. And that, your name is Annunciato? That is a wonderful name. I like that one. Thank you. Oh, what a nice long letter. You want to read it or should I? You. Okay. Dear Santa, hi. My name is Annunciato. I am six years old and I have five sisters and one brother. Oh my, oh, 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 oh. I really tried my best being a good boy all year by listening and being a great big brother. And I believe you are. All I want for Christmas is some Wild Kratz toys because they're my favorite show on MPTV. I would really like Martin and Chris and their Tortuga turtle ship. Oh, I like that turtle ship, yeah. Oh, and then they, they can transport from one place to the other when they, oh, I, I like that show too. I love learning about animals. I would also love a new warm jacket so I could play outside in the snow because I love adventures. Yeah. Also, it would be so nice for everyone in the world to have a wish come true. Thank you so much. Love always, Annunciato. That's a great, great wish. And I will do my best for everybody. Okay? Thank you. This is a very, very nice letter. Who's next? Do you ever get a hot chocolate after you've been playing in the snow? Yeah. yeah. I, I think sometimes. You know what happens to him sometimes when he drinks hot cocoa? What? He's messy. Should I tell them? And then there's a big chocolate circle around his face where the chocolates in his beard and mustache. Okay, well, now read the next, now the next letter. The next letter is from Hayden. Hayden. Hi. Hi. You gonna read it or me? Okay. Dear Santa, my name is Hayden and this is what I really want for Christmas. I want a puppy, preferably a golden retriever. I would also like an art easel, stuffed unicorn, an iPad, and a new winter jacket. I would like a new doll with red hair and a sparkly pink dress. Lastly, I would like a new dress. Please bring my little brother's presents too. Thank you for all the great presents you gave me last year. I will make sure to leave some cookies and milk for you and your reindeer. Love, Hayden. Well, thank you. And how many br little brothers do you have? Two. Two little brothers? Oh, that must be a lot of challenge there. Yeah, because little brothers can get into everything. Uh-huh, yeah. I know that I had, I had little brothers too. <laughs> okay, and a puppy to play with and keep you warm? Yeah, that sometimes is a little more difficult to fill but we sure will do our best. Okay. Thank you, Hayden. Well, we have two more letters here we need to read, Santa. Okay. This one is from Miles. Okay, Miles. Dear Santa, 
I am five at many five. Yeah, I would like a log truck that chomps up trees and carries them, a recycling truck and garbage truck. I am trying to be good. I would like a police car and a fire truck, please. Sorry for being bad at school, but you'll do better. <laughs> Miles Winnicka. Thank you very much. And one from Brielle. Hi. <laughs> Dear Santa, I have been a very good girl this year. I would love for you to bring me some books, a Barbie, a toy dog, a Target gift card, laugh out loud surprise dolls, and some pajamas. Can you please bring my sister Malia, an American girl, well-wisher doll, and my big sister Soya, a new smart TV? Thank you, Santa. Love, Briella. Okay, I will take that back with me. Thank Can you. I can get it, um well, it's been such a pleasure spending time with you. Really, we've really enjoyed it. Thanks for joining us today. I look forward to seeing you again next year and see how much you've grown. I'm going to be seven. You're going to be seven. seven.